It's now two o'clock. Hello, YouTube land. I'm hurting again. I sent my goats out at one o'clock, and um, it was sunny at the time. And now two o'clock. It's overcasty again and misty. Misty and turkeys. The least little turkeys are alarmed. It's so noisy being uh, new in the farm. <laughs> it's like a few days only when we took them out from that forest area over there. There's two more. The one I chased before from that uh, part of the farm. And there's one that always comes home super wet. That's um, always coming from that uh, part of the forest so we try to check whether we can go there but unfortunately we can't because it's just too um, dangerous to go there like it's all covered with this um, you know it's like a typical forest with like almost nothing to no trail whatsoever so it's scary as you know our farm is surrounded with some dangerous animals like cobras of any color black yellow whatever so it's just so scary to um be there like that area there there's some um, a b big bamboo that's the type of bamboo that's made into um, walls uh, how you call this they call it here a makan that's a weaved um, slices of bamboo so there's nothing we can do for now but wait for them to kind of give us the signals that they have their babies and they're ready to come home <laughs> that's that's how uh these turkeys hide guys like you would not know they camouflage like they're like camouflage of nature these turkeys even like if when they're young they are like this black brown white so um when like they hide i don't know how they do that that they like even the white uh areas of their feather like they can really make it look like you know like if they're in the rubbish they will be the same color with the rubbish so oh raining now my goats i will just um let them graze as much as they want because I cannot send them here in the fruit area, the fruit farm, because this morning Papa applied some insecticide for the um, durian trees, or for the bees actually that's there, because no harvester would, ay, because no harvester would climb up the tree because of these um, bees two of the durians have bees actually three but the other one don't have fruits so i'm gonna show you how um serious is this bee problem here in the farm this may be because there's no more there's no other areas now that they can live because everything is converted to banana plantations and this as, as most of you know if you've been a follower of mine and my husband's and also farming in the Philippines there's a lot of insecticides herbicides fungicides applied in our surrounding areas with bananas so like this plant, uh, this tree guys of durian, see there's a fruit. 
uh, this is clear of bees and that over there which like was settled by the bees long time ago I'm not sure if it's still there I mean the bees are still there because the nest is still there look at that but this is the tree with no fruits nothing whatsoever in this um, tree this the fruits of this is super big like seven to more than 10 kilos so many uh, rambutans to harvest soon papa harvested few kilos from this tree earlier that are red already uh, from that area there and um, I'm gonna show you um, the bees like the other day I came here with papa to check the durian uh, any durian that fall down but was nothing and papa got stung by a bee from this area so we did not notice this before like in my videos i think i've shown this tree and look at this guys this is the nest so when the harvester came to check if how high he should climb up he said he, he just refused straight away because of these bees even if he has harness he still would not um, climb because of these bees even if papa will provide that um, uh, how you call that hat with the net <laughs> That will cover the face whatever is that and this is the worst case of um, bees Bee. like I never noticed this before guys I don't know where I can show it without the Sun because this one guys is like not really noticeable but if you like take a long stare or like really stare at it look at this guys that's more than a meter of the stem that's fully covered with bees that fat area from here to here William will try um, spraying that uh, Bob and Joy gave us because it said it will reach to as far as 27 feet so we will try that here later this is the problem guys nobody will climb this high because of these bees it would not have been a problem for any harvester because this is one-sided so the other side don't have any danger of a durian falling on its head but the problem now is this piece like um, estimate is 1.8 1 point more than 1.5 but less than 2 meters of the stem that's covered with the house of the um, bees so right now guys I will move because <laughs> durians might fall on my head with these winds at the moment. It's crazy. There's a lot of durians. Like there's three we checked earlier. There's three that's gonna fall really soon. And Papa don't want to waste it because this is a very good variety of uh, durian. And the, the problem is the height you know like um it grows so long because it was covered uh, it, it grows so tall because it was previously covered with um this uh bamboo that we cut in i think january or february that was yeah so like all this even this one it's not a very 
strong this is a very good variety actually guys this also it is actually the best variety this one this one and that one it has some um, tiny leaves compared to other varieties of durians that we have here in the farm uh, it gave us three fruits the first time it fruited <laughs> three only but um, yeah would have been nice if it uh, fruited like it just started sprouting from you know the time I had a big blast over here <laughs> uh, so for now let's wait for the winds to settle and check later if there will be durians falling it's kind of dangerous here at the moment guys with all these uh, winds blowing so let's check the goats stay tuned Goats are home. Nelly's baby keeps moving in her tummy and her milk is starting to flow. <laughs> so it's gonna be very soon guys. Very soon. She keeps she starts to clean her udders. So hopefully She'll have it soon before getting all those milk wasted. Mm -hmm. They still don't want to come home yet. Sunny guys, look at the rainbow over there. But it's raining now, so my goats are rushing home. Look at the spits of rain. And it's sunny. Ah. It's closing time in the farm. Look at this rain with all that sun. So, look at this, guys. The end of the rainbow is at my boundary. <laughs> How good is that? Like earlier, it was in the other side in this uh, trees. Oh, no, it's still showing very lightly. So it's showing in the camera, but you can hardly see in um, actual thing that's wow how good is the camera oh <laughs> this is my harvest <laughs> it's one-sided um i call pumpkin also so thank you for watching today's episode it's raining we can't do anything so bye